there guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, today I've received an email from someone who has a concern about heaven and our life review. Their question was basically outlining when we hurt other people or things or animals without knowing it, do we have to feel that pain when we're going through our life review? So let's start with our life review. First of all, when I did my own, because that's what I base a lot of my information on, plus the research of other NDEs that I've acquired over the years. But when I was doing my own life review, I only had to answer for the deliberate acts that I'd done to others. Now, in my book, Five Years in Heaven, which is not here because I'm about to take it with me today for, for an event that I'm doing, but... In my book, I explained about when I was about 18 months old and I was pulling the tail of a cat. I've had a lot of feedback regarding that part of my book and when I mentioned it in interviews, etc. And people are saying, how at 18 months old could you know that was wrong? I personally believe, in my own opinion, I had been told before that time, don't pull the cat's tail. Linda, don't pull the cat's tail. Don't do that. So I knew from what other people were saying, when I pulled that cat's tail when I was 18 months old, I knew it was a deliberate act because I had that intention to pull its tail, knowing it was wrong. Okay? So we've got to look at deliberate acts that we do. And our deliberate acts are called intentions. Our intentions can be thoughts. So let's just say you see someone, they're doing this, some driving weird on the road, and you think, oh my God, what an idiot. You know, I hope he gets a speeding ticket for that. Or I hope he gets pulled up by the police. Or worse, we may think, oh God, I hope he crashes. Those are deliberate acts that we've created in our thoughts. So their intentions, and in our life review, it doesn't matter. There's no differentiation between intentions of thought and intentions of actions. Wow, am I in trouble when I go into that big, 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 big pit and I have to answer for all my memories or intentions because every time we say, oh, yeah, I wish that person would just drop dead, we're actually wishing it, creating that energy, which is a deliberate act of an intention that we have to heal, whether that person knew it or not, because we're the ones who answer for ourselves, okay? We don't have to we don't have to answer if something happens to that person if they did drop dead. Oh my gosh, please don't have those thoughts. Okay? And if you do have those thoughts, please ask yourself why. Okay, try and heal it now. Or go and talk to a doctor if you're having negative thoughts about anything, okay? Please seek medical attention. But deliberate acts where we think of something, which is our intention, those are accountable when we do our life review. Huh. So let's just go on that flip side because I like having everything positive and loving, right? I'm sitting here today and I'm looking out into my yard and I see my neighbour. We get our bins taken, you know, our bins get emptied on a Friday morning here. So I might see his wheelie bin still out. So I have this thought, oh, well, wow, I know that he's been sick. I might go and put his wheelie bin away for him. His rubbish cans. I'll go put his trash cans back in the in his yard for him to save him that trip. That's an intention which I've just created, which is a deliberate act, whether I act on it or not, in this phys physical realm. And therefore, I then feel that grace, thanks, and most of all compassion when I'm healing that in heaven. Because it's our emotional statuses of what we do, our actions, whether it's real or not, a thought is real because our thoughts are what creates our reality, 
right? You hearing me? Our thoughts create our reality. So the more we think, oh, wow, right now I'm sending all my hope and love to those in Russia and Ukraine. You know, I hope that this battle finishes soon. The more I do that, the more I say, oh, wow, I feel for those families affected by those billionaires that were in that submarine going down to the Titanic. The more I do that, the more I think about people who are really, really nasty on the planet at this point, giving us all these mandates and things, and I send them love, and I say, wow, I hope and pray that you work out there's a different way of doing what you're doing. So the more I'm sending out all this love to other people, even people who may not deserve it, because who am I to judge? Who does what? But I don't care. I just send love and light to everybody. And then when we do our life review, we have to heal those great feelings. And it's tenfold. So if I'm saying to myself something like, wow, I might smile at this person coming towards me. But then as they get closer, you think, oh, no, I'm really nervous. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I, I, no, look away, look away. I'm not gonna, I can't do it. I can't smile at that person. But we've created it because we thought it. So as that person walks past, we still feel that smile, even though in physically we were unable to do it. Okay? It was only our embarrassment or shame or um, introverted personality that prevented us from doing it, right? So... But as long as we have those thoughts, that's what we're healing. So accidents. Let's have a look at accidents now. You know those undeliberate acts? <laughs> Driving into a bridge when I was 20. I didn't try to do that. My back tire blew, which caused an accident. Okay? Actions out of our control type things. All right? Or where we're even, even not even aware of the reaction. Okay? We may, I don't know, let's just say today you're cleaning out your handbag and you find some nails in there and you think, oh, yeah, I'll just toss them on the road. Car comes back, car comes down the street later that afternoon, drives over those nails and they get a puncture and they crash into a tree. So now they have to spend thousands getting their car fixed. Did I deliberately cause that? Because I'm just clearing out my bag, not thinking of the consequences of my own actions? No, because we didn't create the deliberate act or intention of hurting that car or the occupants. So those are not an issue in our life review, okay? And please don't ever throw nails on roads, okay? Please be a little bit smarter. You know, I always say use a cash rash, use, put it in the trash, okay? Put it in the trash can, okay? If you've got rubbish, don't just litter, okay? But I'm just using that as an example today. So there you go. Comment below what you think. Like this if you think it's valuable. If you think it's worth sending it to somebody and saying, oh, well, you're, you, you, you're beating yourself up saying that you're going to have to repay all this stuff in your karmic energy of your life review, watch this lady's video, okay? Because I only try my best, as we all do. And if you do have a question that you wish me to answer, please email me. My email is below in the description. Because I do like having all my questions about heavens, okay? So I hope this one's helped you, to help you today. Deliberate intentions. We do have to answer those. But if it's an accident where we don't know what that consequence is, don't worry about it. Because that's not in our karmic rebalance of what we have to heal. Hope that's helped today. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you all soon. Bye.